Hi, today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite meters on the market right now, the Ideal Series uh, Reasonably Priced Clamp Meters. So for solar, prepping, home use, working on cars, all this kind of stuff, this is a killer meter for that view, for that price range of under $100 and actually under about $70 bucks for our, our lower end one. So we're going to deal with the 61737 and the 61747, which is its Bigger Brother Tight Sight version. So these guys are loaded full of features for the price. So first thing you're gonna get is a non-contact detector. So if we turn our, our dial here to non-contact uh, voltage detector and put it on our extension cord here, we'll see that it actually flashes. If I can get that on camera. We got a light here flashing. This one has it flashes a little bit above just on the screen there. And we go ahead and put it up there. It's going to go ahead and tell us that we've got a live wire inside here. Anything above 30 volts. Next, we're on this, on uh, both of them, you will have AC amperage. The 747 comes with DC amperage also, which is kind of a neat feature. Not a necessity by any means. The uh, one feature I really like better on the 737 over the 747 is that you actually have an AC-DC spot so we're actually able to twist it to ac and then dc both of them pop up on the screen i really do like that a lot of uh, meters i've had out there do not say ac and dc you kind of have to guess this particular one on the 747 when we test it uh, go to voltage you actually have to select with the select button dc and ac so let me see if i can turn the screen on there for you guys so you guys can kind of see that says AC on the screen. I go ahead and click it down there to DC. I would have appreciated it just on the dial. I think that would have been a much easier way to do it. The other thing this does, it also does Hertz. So we'll tell you what the Hertz of the item is. Um, if we're testing, so if you're testing a generator to see if the motor's running properly or if we're getting enough Hertz to actually run the system, 60 Hertz is what we use in America. So that's kind of a neat, really neat feature here. We're able to do um, Hertz in general with our probes and then we can actually do uh, we actually are able to do continuity testing and be able to do um, diode testing which is a huge huge advantage but uh, continuity testing is something we do constantly uh, resistance testing huge thing that we want to be able to do in the solar world so definitely have that and the last one being able to go over to Fahrenheit there's a probe set that comes with the package it also comes in this great case with a strap to put it on your belt or on your bags. And then you have the probe for the uh, heat sensor. So great bag, great everything around. Um, $89 for this guy, $60 or $59 for the smaller version. Now the one nice thing you do get on the little nicer version, it's a rubberized versus plastic. Saying that, I've used plastic meters for years and years and years, never really had a problem. The biggest advantage over the two is the ability to have the tight sight feature. So on the bottom, you have a second set of view, uh, viewable area. So they both have the feature that allows you to turn on the light and see them inside. The bigger version, which is not a huge advantage to a lot of people, has the ability to be able to turn off the auto power off feature. So the auto power off feature is up here on top. So I'll kind of let you guys see that here. If you guys can hopefully see it on the screen here. So it lights up and then we have the, uh, we have the auto power off feature here. If we go ahead and turn it off, hold down the select button, turn it back on to amperage. You'll see the auto power off APO feature is turned off which means that it will turn, it will stay on until you've actually turned it off. This is real great if we're Got testing um, air conditioners, everything else. So we also have the max and minimum feature. The max and minimum feature allows you to be able to, to go ahead and turn it on to amperage and test amperage and go ahead and hit the max feature. The max feature allows it to be able to test. It, you don't have to sit there and hold right there and worry about losing it. It will hold it to whatever is the max that yes. it comes up to, or the minimum it comes up to. Um, if we go ahead and turn it off, we also have the range feature, which allows us to go decimals over. So we can actually sit there and range over. 
and decimal down. And then, and then the zero feature or the, or the triangle feature on both these is for relative. So this is great for testing voltage drop. We can sit there and test at the main panel and then go over to the other panel and test from there. So uh, great meters all the way around. For the price killer deal, you do have the standard test leads that come with them which have the caps that pull off. When they pull off, they're a, they're a, tie, a class two. That's why I'm a big fan of one thing in Fluke. Fluke has come out with these for about 34 bucks. Same thing, get them at Lowe's. You're able to turn it up and down and adjust that tip for what you're using it for and turn it up and down for there. So when they do click and lock in place, make sure you're making sure they do click. These have a little softer lead than the ones that come from Ideal. Still, the ones from Ideal are totally fine. I just always end up losing these little caps. And then again, for keeping that 600 um, volt rating, uh, the class three rating, we have to have the caps on there. So it has to have the full tip on there. When you pull it off, it goes down to a class two rating. So we wanna keep that. So that's the rating we want for most of our meters, which is the class three 600 volt. This is also a 400 amp clamp meter, so this is pretty much going to work for all of your residential solar use. So, if you guys have any questions, these are still, the, uh, the clamps are really narrow enough to kind of get around everything, but they're still small, you know, still big enough to definitely have enough room to get around a 4 aught cable, even a little larger, but small enough to still clamp into a line splitter so we can test smaller items. So I really like that feature that it's small enough to do that. Uh, they also have a accessory magnet that comes with that you can order separately for about 20 bucks. And that has a little strap and then, so you can actually lock it up to the wall. Another really nice feature over some of the other meters that are out there is the ability to go ahead and put your probe in there and use your probes while you're holding on to them and actually hold the meter in your hand while you're doing it. Huge, huge advantage, okay? Now one thing I really do like about these guys, using the ones from Fluke, is that when they go in there, you have, they're actually sticking out quite a little bit more, so you have some more room to get into areas and kind of get tight into areas. With the dual um, sight or the tight sight version, you're able to turn them on and be able to see the bottom. I'll go ahead and flip that on for you. So we've got full size screen here and a screen on the bottom, which the smaller version does not come with. So if let's say we're in a panel and we're clamping into something where maybe we've got it turned away from us, we can still read the bottom. So we can still be able to see that even though it's turned away from us. The other really nice feature is the nicer one comes with a light that doesn't come on the smaller one. So you can illuminate, especially if you're wearing an arc flash helmet or something like that. It's a nice feature to have if you're trying to do that. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them at the bottom. Like and share. And as always, have a great day.